everyone. You all look beautiful. Well, some of you. So another weekend, another Biden blunder. They're as common as flatulence in Whoopi Goldberg's dressing room. <laughs> While delivering a speech to the Congressional Black Caucus Saturday night, old Joe might have been trying to tell us something, namely that it's the first time you heard of LL Cool J. Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got, he got that man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. That, a tip to bring Joe into the 21st century try not to call African American males over the age of 10 boy, even if you once eulogized a close friend who helmed the Ku Klux Klan. But Joe does know his hip hop as an accomplished breakdancer. Oops, stepping on them. That's black. <laughs> Doesn't even need cardboard. But I wonder what his fellow Dems think of these gaffes. <laughs> uh, yeah, as the gaffes pile up, Newsom's laughing so hard, oil soaked birds are falling out of his hair. And now a shocking new Washington Post ABC News poll has Donald Trump with a whopping 10 point lead over Biden in a hypothetical rematch of 2020. The only thing shocking about that is that it's not a 70 point lead. I guess it's time to get back to what worked in his last campaign and have Dr. Jill lock him in the basement. I wonder what his fellow Democrats think about that. <laughs> So why do I keep why do I keep bringing up Gavin? Well, other than my respect for his work in American Psycho, he's <laughs> he's starting to distance himself from his party's worst ideas. Newsom, a guy who hates fossil fuels but could still bring down the price of gas by wringing out his hair, once proclaimed that his state would be a sanctuary to all who seek it. Then people actually came, tons of them, moving faster than a mob of Walgreens shoplifters. So last week, Newsom said he hopes the conservative Supreme Court will overturn the current law that bans his state from removing out of control homeless encampments. Imagine that. Well, what did you expect, Gavin, that the sanctuary seekers were going to show up in Winnebago's? Once again, another example of a high profile lib using his big mouth to write a check his ass can't cash. Last year, after the Texas, Texas Governor Abbott ordered that parents of transitioning children should face criminal investigation, Newsom then tweeted this. Trans kids and their families should be celebrated, not targeted by the state. They are heroes. And so to fearful families in Texas right now, California's door is always open to you. Yeah, and so is the side door on some pedophile's minivan. <laughs> Then came the national polling by overwhelming majorities. It turns out Americans don't favor minors transitioning. So last week, when a California law was proposed that judges in custody cases favor the parent who supports transitioning a child's new gender, Newsom killed that law quicker than a late term abortion. Yeah, I know, huh? Now, the left, being the left, was outraged, but they missed something because now Newsom says. He only vetoed it since it's already the law. That's a nice one, dude. You got to admit, this guy's so oily, he should join OPEC. But what a magician. Only he pulls excuses out of his butt instead of rabbits from a hat. And that's the strategy, covering his butt. Because in the real world, these progressive policies, much like Kamala Harris, just don't work. So people are eventually forced to look elsewhere. Newsom himself is discovering this the hard way. He recently said in an interview that his kids are on a pathway to a micro cult by listening to the likes of Andrew Tate, Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson. But is it a pathway to a cult or, or being saved from their dad's insane life philosophy? Because as Scott Adams points out, the harder the left tries to raise the children on the right, the more Andrew Tate will be raising the children on the left. And at least no one's trying to sniff them. I guess in Gavin's world, kids can choose their gender, but not their opinions. It's funny, the definition of a cult is keeping people from contacting people not in the cult and silencing speech. But isn't that what the Dems are doing to parents and just about anyone who disagrees with them? 
Now, perhaps many lefties begin with good intentions, as they always do, and at some level, they believe in all this <laughs> But in the end, reality always shows up to ruin things. Like that great philosopher Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> I, I learned that sitting next to Dana. <laughs> And nothing hits harder than a competitive world where bad guys do exist and where capitalism unleashes human potential better than anything else and where children benefit by having an actual childhood. As for Newsom, he's been saying for months he's got no plans to run for prez, but this weekend he didn't exactly say no. You may be termed out here, but does cleaning up the streets of California factor into a potential oh, presidential run? I'm never going to overpromise that in the short run. I mean, we are struggling in this state. You're not Housing answering my question. Housing and homelessness, no. Housing and homelessness. Is that a yes or a no? That was, uh, that was a, a never-ending uh, response to your question. <laughs> wow, that's a shift. So it seems like the slickest, sneakiest man on earth is slowly sliding in. And because he's good at this political theater, he could be the next commander in chief, especially since the other options are no laughing matter. <laughs> like, what do you want to know? <laughs> well, I want to give you, I want to give you the opportunity. Welcome Period. tonight's guest. When he's trying to sleep, he counts bucks instead of sheep. Host of Making Money on Fox Business, Charles Page. He looks and sounds like a pack of Marlboros. Comedian Jim Florentine. She's so sharp, lawn darts throw her. Host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. He mends his clothes with a Seattle Space Needle. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former NWA world champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Charles, something is up, and it's not Joe Biden, but something is going on. Do you see the, the gears in motion, what's going on? What do you think's happening? Desperation. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, golly. A, a poll after poll after poll amongst Democrats are saying, hey, we just, just Biden does not do it for us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they've got to figure it out. There's this one person out there, but Gavin Newsom is being very obvious about it. And they're really in a serious quandary. They really, really are. But I got to tell you, he is this, he is why people hate politicians. Mm -hmm. I mean, just really, just, he is like the poster child, the poster man for just disingenuous, dishonest. I just, I'm telling you, if they, if they think this guy's, is 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 going to be their savior? I don't. I maybe he's slick. Maybe he can talk a few votes in, but I just can't see him winning. Yeah. Were you offended by Joe Biden's uh, use of uh, certain words this you know, weekend? It's it's. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't say Republicans. <laughs> Somehow he always comes today. Like remember that time he said they're going to put y'all back in chains? Mm -hmm. I I got to tell you something. Joe Biden is really. Uh, he, he is so much more racist. Than, than anything I've ever heard or seen from President Trump, former yeah. President Trump. Really, I mean, in reality, the actions that he's taken as a lawmaker, his opinions, the way he's talked. Oh, these black kids were looking at my hair in a swimming pool, and they, <laughs> they were shocked, and they would rub them, and their curls would come up, and they never saw him. I mean, it's just like, it's almost like a Edgar Rice Burroughs novel. Yeah, Every right. time I look at him, he's Tarzan in the modern world, and all the black people are like, look at him. Look at that guy. <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> that's his mind. He's a modern day Tarzan. You know, it's, oh, that's funny. You know, uh, you think with the way he uh, butchered LL Cool J's name, <laughs> I wonder if Corn Pop's name was probably Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, uh, you're an astute political operator. Uh, what did you make of Joe's ga uh, gaffes late? What he's uh, trying to pronounce LL Cool J and. Yeah, I mean, well, he used it the wrong way. Like, if he would have just went, boy, <laughs> like Flavor Flav, like, oh, he's just doing another rapper because yeah. I got a rapper here. They didn't yeah. write it that way in a teleprompter. They probably, <laughs> no, I know. Some, it's like Z's on that. You know. He could have got away with it. He might have taken a nap if he saw those Z's, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. No, but he, <laughs> look, he he, pro he doesn't know what LL Cool J is. He yeah. probably thinks it's a brand of air conditioners. <laughs> he has no idea, so. <laughs> what do you think about Gavin Newsom? What's going on there? I don't know. I don't know how they, they bump out uh, Kamala out of VIP, mm -hmm. you know, put a white male in there and take her out. She's got too much of an ego to just yeah. step aside. Mm -hmm. She's going to go crazy if they try to do that. Plus, yeah. she had a strong 2% support, so. 
Yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah, but she's all she's waiting for that spot to just open for her, and then you put a white male in there. Yeah. There's no. I don't know how they're gonna put. I mean, they did it with Bernie. They they threw him under the bus to. You know, presidential ones in a row. They just gave him a couple extra houses in Vermont. Go, yeah, you got some extra money. Just, but I don't know how they could do it with yeah, her. Yeah, it'd be great if they threw her under the bus because she really likes buses, remember? <laughs> <laughs> to be crushed by the very thing that loves you. What a tragic way to end her political life, Kennedy. Kennedy, so many parts. I in my... was that girl. <laughs> <laughs> So many parts of that brilliant monologue there that you can respond to. I don't even know where to start. What is Gavin up to? Um, Gavin definitely wants to be president. I think he's been banking on 2028. Mm. But at some point, these polls, and even ABC News was like, that poll's an outlier. And everyone's like, that's your poll. Yeah. That was actually like, you're polling. And you're saying that you're polling and your data is garbage. Mm -hmm. And they want to throw that away, you know, which said that he's 10 points behind Trump right now. It's only going to get worse. Yeah. Like, however bad he is now, look where he was six months ago. He's so much worse than he was then. Where is he going to be in six months? You cannot conceivably have a person like that as a nominee. And Newsom is the only viable option for Democrats to slide in right now. Gretchen Whitmer, she's damaged. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they try and talk about other people, and it's, it's not going to happen, but Newsom has enough of an aura about him that they can cobble something together. The problem is his policies have been an utter failure. Visit any major city in California, and you will be visiting homeless camps. Mm -hmm. And he is a main reason that homelessness has exploded yep. in that state. He's never had a solution for it. All he's done is thrown money at it, and that has made it worse. Mm -hmm. It is interesting, though. The best candidate that they have is RFK Jr., and they're treating him like crap. All right, Tyrus. Give us your astute political analysis. Well, the term Tarzan was used. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tarzan called me a boy. He would have got <laughs> up. Um, <laughs> you know, we need to rethink everything. Because the one, the one thing about dementia or getting older, that the real you comes out. Mm -hmm. There's no more filters. The little... Jiminy Cricket in your shoulder says, don't say that, he died. <laughs> so now it's just unfiltered. Mm -hmm. So now we have to go back. I think Corn Pop got a bad rap. Yes. <laughs> Pretty sure Corn Pop's name was Cornelius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Joe was trying to tell him how cool his hair is when it gets wet. Yeah. Corn Pop didn't care, so Joe called him Corn Pop. Mm -hmm. And then probably boy after that. So. Corn Pop is the good guy. Mm -hmm. Joe is the bad guy. This is who he is. This is, it's going to get worse, entertainingly worse, because what's going to happen when he's in a debate, well, let's say a President Trump, and there's no more filter. Mm -hmm. And he's going he's gonna to try to out-racist somebody he's assumed racist to get him to go with him. Could, oh. to your point, could you imagine him debating Vivek and asking him to, like, get him a Slurpee? Yeah, no, he would tell, no, no. <laughs> No, he would not he do that. that. He, he would did. not do that because that's that's just straight up honest racism. That's yeah. no, no, no. That's Remember, he did, he, that would with, say, he did that. He about would Indians. do it in a way where he would tell a story about the founding fathers <laughs> and how they built this country so when immigrants could come from India and build Seven Elevens. Yes, so that's what he would do. And hand him Slurpees in the summertime. Yes. Overpriced, of course. <laughs> That's how he'll do it. And he'll say, and then he'll tell Vivek, he will never say his name Vivek. Yeah. He'll give him a name like Monkey Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then look at the audience and be like, what? Yeah. What did I say here? No one likes him in his family. Because mm -hmm. at some point, if you, if you had any love from anybody, they'd be enough. If, mm -hmm. if he was a boxer, mm -hmm. you hug him, you put the towel over his head and be like, we're going home, man. Yeah. We're going home. We're done here. But yeah. he Can couldn't I even read LL. Yeah. Can I have something very quickly here? Um, obviously, Newsom is jockeying for presidential position because he has agreed to debate Ron DeSantis on, on this network. Yes, crazy, huh? So you, you wouldn't be debating someone who's running for president if you also weren't running for president. Exactly. But Excellent they point. They're not the equity pick. Yeah. The Democratic, new Democratic Party is about equity picks. They have their pick. Makes no sense to us, laughing bus lady, but that's their <laughs> equity pick. <laughs> <laughs> laughing bus lady!
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.